Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our today's class. This is RCM Online College bringing you a CIFA course called Portfolio. My name is Dr. Joshua Aura. And today, I would want us to look at the geometric mean. I would want us to look at the geometric what year mean. So how do we get a geometric mean in portfolio management? If you look at your past papers, you'll always get questions on geometric mean. The first thing that you will get to understand under geometric mean is that it is a measure of central tendency. It's a measure of central tendency that best suits situations of rates of change, situations where we have got rates of change, situations where we have got uh, proportions increases, decreases. If, for example, you are given two years or three years, 2018, 2019, and then we have 2020. And then they'll come and give you the percentage change. So percentage change in 2018. Percentage change in 2018, what do we have? We have 20%, for instance. We have our shares in 2019, they again increased by 20%. And then in 2020, perhaps the shares lost 40% of the value. And then you are required, ladies and gentlemen, here, you are required to calculate, to calculate the geometric what here, the geometric mean. Calculate the geometric mean. So a good person will tell you, even if they were to just ask you to compute the mean, the very best type of uh, measure of central tendency that is suited for this is called the geometric what here, the geometric mean. So ladies and gentlemen, to get our geometric mean, there is the formula. Geometric mean, of course, the most suitable way because we have percentage, change, we have proportions, we have rates of change. So in this particular case, for me to get the geometric mean, what I'll need to do is to use my formula, which will be one plus rate one into one plus rate two into one plus rate three, because there are only three rates. There are only three rates. I'll come and uh, have their product of course, in this case here, raised to one over n. Number of years are three. So it will be one over three. So basically, I'll be getting the cube root. And then at the end of the day, to make it a mean, I have to subtract one there. So if, for example, we had four years, I would have raised this to one over four. I would have raised this to one over four. So ladies and gentlemen, my geometric mean here will be equal to, we have one plus 20%. So this gives us 1.2 multiplied by this gives us again 1.2 because of 20% uh, is the same as 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Multiplied by, if you check this, this is one plus minus 0.4. That is the same as 0 0.6 or 60%. So then this will be 0 0.6. And then everything here will be raised to a third. And then at the end of the day, minus one. That's how we get our geometric mean. So ladies and gentlemen, our geometric mean in this particular case our geometric mean in this particular case will be 1.2 will be 1.2 times 1.2 times 0 0.6 equals and then i would want to raise these into brackets there 1 divided by 3 1 divided by 3 close close like that then whatever I get at the end of the day, I'll come and say minus what here, minus one, which gives me a loss of 0 0.048. So minus 0 0.048. So percentage wise, this will be minus four point what here? This will be minus four point, minus, if you multiply this with 100, it will be minus 4.8%. Minus 4.8%. So averagely, we were losing. Our share price was reducing by 4.8% per annum on average. So that's how we compute geometric mean. Should you be wanting our online tutorials? We have done videos for this particular subject for a whole subject. You only pay 5,000 shillings. We give you access to this particular portfolio videos, which will be so helpful to you. So please reach out to us by calling this number. 0719-525,000. Otherwise, thank you very much. I told you my name is Dr. Joshua Aura. I teach CIFAR courses at RCM College. God bless you.